Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Nova Kids Online. This is now July the 12th. I hope you are having an amazing summer. The weather has been beautiful. I hope you've had a chance to get outside, maybe uh, go swimming, go to the beach, go to the lake, uh, get outside for a hike in the woods, go biking, play ball, whatever it is. I know some of your normal activities might not have happened, but I hope you're finding a way to have lots of fun. Um, it's just been great now as you know this summer we've been learning a lot about faith so far now faith is believing in what you can't see because of what you can see and sometimes it's not always easy but uh, it's very important and with god of course there's a lot of things that we can't see uh, a lot of things that we believe about god that we can't see but we can't see god with our eyes as we know but thankfully, there is a lot that we can see about God. And when we focus on these things, our faith can get stronger and stronger. You know, the Bible says in James 1.17 that every good and perfect gift comes from God. And I think that's pretty amazing. And uh, as you can see the trees behind me here, I know for myself when I get outside in nature, I see God's presence all around me. And what I see, whether it's the sunshine, the birds, the trees, the plants, the flowers, even some rain, all of those things to me just scream about how big and amazing God is. Uh, so that helps me have faith because when I see this stuff, I planted a garden a few, uh, a couple months ago, I put a seed in the ground and I believed that with rain and with some sunshine it would grow and it started to and it was just amazing. So nature to me, uh, is a way that I can have a strong faith in God. Faith can be difficult, but the good news is uh, we are not in this faith journey alone. We can do it together. Let's go see what the so-and-so show has to say today. Are you trying to catch a fly with chopsticks blindfolded? What does it look like I'm doing? Wouldn't a fly swatter be easier? It is said one who captures a fly with chopsticks can do anything. Really? Yeah. Can I try? Uh, <laughs> sure. All right. Mm. Focus. 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 <sighs> Focus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was easier. <clears throat> Welcome to the so-and-so show in 3D! Whoa! 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 Yeah! I'm Brandon! And I'm John, and it's nice to meet you. Here, here. Let's shake hands! Whoa! Whoa! Amazing ride! It's like you're practically here in the room with us. Yeah, so you can join us in this nerd fight! Yes! Boom. Woo! Boom. Oh, mine doesn't work very mine well. Either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh! I don't know the trick. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I hope we didn't hit anyone. <laughs> you all can thank John for making this possible. He's the one that sent you the 3D glasses that you're wearing right now. Nerf fight again! Boom! 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 <laughs> what happened? Are you out of... Are you out of No, uh, nothing, cards? nothing. It's nothing. It's, it's just nothing. Oh, it's clearly something. No, no, it's just that you, uh, you know how I said I'd send 3D glasses to everyone who watches the show? Yes. I did not do that! Nerf fight! Hey! John! Hey! John! John, stop it! Stop! Okay. Look, if, if they're not wearing the glasses, then it's not in 3D, and we're just throwing stuff at the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I knew I should have asked Ron to send out the glasses. Well, it's just that I was busy buying the ping pong balls and the Nerf darts, and I just, wait, 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 Ron? Who's Ron? He's a new friend of mine. Anyway, today on our apparently two-dimensional version of the no, show. No, no, wait, 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 wait. New friend. What? Your new friend? You said you had a new friend. Like who? Yeah. I mean, with, I mean, is there, a, oh, who's Ron? It's, he's just a guy that I met. You, you'd like him, actually. <sighs> You would. I mean, you guys are into a lot of the same things. You comic books, soccer, air drumming, food. I do like food. Yeah. But I don't think I like this Ron fellow. I mean, what kind of name is Ron anyway, right? It's three letters. What's it short for? Rondiculous? <laughs> Ronald, I think. <laughs> That's Rondiculous. Look, I'm telling you, you'd like him. He, he, he even overreacts to little things like you do. Overreacts? How dare you? <laughs> that hurts, man. That really hurts. Uh-huh. So maybe if you just got to know Ron, you would feel differently. I could introduce you. Never. I don't like Ron. Mm -hmm. I don't. And I don't want to get to know him. Come on. I, I, mm. could, I could set up a meeting. It could be right here or, or at the comic book store down the street. I will not meet Ron here or there. Okay. I will not meet Ron anywhere. Would you meet Ron in a house? I would not meet Ron in a house. Would you meet Ron with a mouse? I would not meet Ron in a house. I would not meet Ron with a mouse. I will not meet Ron here or there. I will not meet Ron anywhere. How about in a box? Not in a box or with a fox or on a train or in a tree. I will not meet Ron, Brandon. Now please let me be. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. Hey, listen, we're friends, right? Well, what, what you, you and me, or, or you and Ron? Me and you, we're friends. Yeah, I used to think so. Well, we know we are, and you trust me, right? I mean, I've never given you any reason not to trust me. No, I trust you. All right, good, then you can trust me when I say that Ron is a good guy and you would really like him, okay? What are you doing? I'm texting Ron and telling him to come over. No, yes, no, I am. I'm te I'm, no! I'm doing, it's done, it's done. Oh, Oh, good. <laughs> He's coming over now. <laughs> You're gonna like Ron. <laughs> Whatever. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, everybody. Who wants a slice of pizza? Reach out and take it. Oh, uh, we're not doing 3D anymore, Kellen. Oh. Why not? We forgot to send out the glasses. Bet Ron wouldn't have forgotten. Oh. Who's Ron? Brandon's new best friend who never makes mistakes and does everything right all the He's time. Not my new... Do you have a Bible story for us, Kellen? I do. It was gonna be in 3D with lots of computer graphics and lasers and special effects, and we spent this year's budget making it. But since no one has 3D glasses, let's do some human head puppet theater! Today's story is about Paul. Oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. What? No, not Paul Bunyan. Paul the Apostle. The Paul who used to put people who believed in Jesus in jail until he saw Jesus and became one of Jesus' followers. That Paul. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Carry on. When Paul became a believer in Jesus, he made it his mission to travel the world to tell people Jesus' story. That's why Paul was in Athens, Greece. Oh, I'm in Athens, Greece for the whole day. I don't cut trees down, but that's okay. What is this unusual statue? I ah! am Zeus. The god of thunder. See my lightning bolt? Shazam! <laughs> god of thunder? Is, is that a thing? Oh, sure, sure. Athens has all sorts of gods. Uh, god of music, goddess of love, a god of responsible dental hygiene. <laughs> We're everywhere! Shazam! But there's only one true god. I am very upset. <laughs> hey, don't insult me. Didn't I mention I got a lightning bolt? You're going down, mortal! Step <laughs> Shazam! 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 Mm. 
It is true that Paul was upset when he saw all the statues built to honor other gods, but the statues, they didn't speak. They just kind of stood there. Aw, oh, man. Better. There are statues of gods everywhere. There's a god of woodworking, a god of the sea, and what's this? An altar to an unknown god? I've got to talk to someone about this. Shazam! Shh, sorry. Now here's something that you should know about Athens when Paul was there around 2,000 years ago. Athens was full of smart thinkers and philosophers, but they weren't very familiar with the story of Jesus. So Paul had some work to do. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Are you from Athens? Toga, 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 ah! <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I just wanted to say, Jesus has risen from the dead. Toga? You know they would have said more than just toga. I, it's the only Greek word I know. Ah, okay. The people were confused by what Paul was telling them, so they took him to a meeting of the Areopagus, where some of the brightest, most powerful people in Athens would talk about the latest ideas. People of Athens, I can see that you are very religious. I saw all the things you worship, even an altar to an unknown god. Toga, toga, toga. I'm going to tell you about this unknown god. Toga? He is the god who made the world and everything in it. He gives life to all people. Toga? Toga. It's true. You, you know how some of your poets have said, we are God's children? Toga. That's right, we are God's children. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't, we shouldn't think God is a statue made out of stone. God can raise a man from the dead. Hmm. The people of Athens listened. They liked to hear thoughts and ideas that challenged what they believed. But when they heard Paul talk about the dead being raised, well, some of them made fun of the idea. <laughs> Tuga! But some wanted to hear more. Tuga. And some became followers of Jesus. Tuga! No, wait, wait, wait. I thought of another word. Euro! The people of Athens may have never seen Jesus, but Paul was able to help them have faith in someone that they couldn't see. The end. Fun story, guys. Thanks for your help. Thank you, Kellen. Way better than that 3D story you had planned, right? Sure. Hey, Paul was awesome. He wanted anyone and everyone to know Jesus. Right, he knew that if people got to know Jesus, their lives would be changed forever. Yeah. And he always found different ways to share the good news of Jesus to different people. It was so important to him. Hey, thank you so much, Kellen. You're an awesome 2D storyteller. Good to know. See you guys next time. Hey, say, listen, about this whole Ron situation, I think I understand. Oh, hold that thought. Uh, come in, Ron. I like him already. Reveal the question. How can you help others know Jesus? Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. We all know it's important for people to know who Jesus is and what he's done for us, so what are some ways you can help people know Jesus' story? Uh, you can tell them the story through Dr. Susie and Rhyme. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. You could also invite someone to church. That's a good answer. Or you could tell them about the show. I was going to say the same thing. You were? Totally. Get out! That's ridiculous. Hey, you want to go out and get some food? You bet. I love food. All right. I'll meet you at a restaurant right after the show. You bet. Hey, Ron, you're my new best friend. You? I told you you'd like him. I would meet Ron with a mouse. All righty. Hey, thanks for tuning in, folks. This was the So-and-So Show. Bye. Hey, I'm coming, best friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like, I like food. <laughs>
are right on your floor. Yeah. Oh, look how close that is. Wow. How was this? <laughs> oh, this piece of paper looks. <laughs> look at that flat surface. Look at super flat. I'm not sure that's as interesting. Oh, write my novel <laughs> that I've always wanted to write. Uh, do you need that piece of paper back? It was the worst of times. <laughs> it was the worst of times. Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a memory verse, yay! God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Ephesians 2.8 Wow, Paul was an amazing guy. We've heard many stories about Paul. He just loved people so much. He wanted to tell people about Jesus, that he traveled all over the place and got himself into a lot of trouble and put himself in some pretty tough situations just so he could tell people about Jesus. And that was because he knew God's love personally and he knew how important it was and he wanted to share it with everybody. What an amazing guy. But you know, preaching and telling people all about Jesus is an important part about helping them know Jesus. But there are lots of other ways, things that you can do, you and I can do, uh, to help people know God. Can you think of any? If we were in a room together, I would ask for some input, because I know you guys would be quiet. 
but there's lots of ways that we can think uh, and know uh, about God's love. So, for instance, you can think about what you say. Have you ever thought about that? What are the words that you say when you talk to other people? Do you tell them about God? Do you tell them about church? But maybe even other things. You can just have a conversation. Ask somebody about how their favorite hobby is going, how their sports are doing. Uh, talk about biking or talk about other things. Just being friendly is a way of showing God's love. And how you talk. Have you ever thought about that? It's not just what you say, but how you talk to people. Do you find sometimes you might be mean, sarcastic? Sometimes when we're jealous, we might talk down to people. Those are things that don't really show God's love. So we want to think about that in the way we're responding because the way we talk also can show God's love. And lastly, think about what you do. What are some of the actions that we take? Do they show God's love? Because we can love other people and that shows them God's love. So do we leave a mess behind in the house when we come in from playing outside? Do we clean up after ourselves? Do we maybe go help a friend uh, if they need a hand or a neighbor? Those are other things that we can do. So you gotta think about what you say, how you say it, and what you do. Those are ways that we can show God's love to other people. All of these things show our faith. And we believe that no matter where we are, God is with us and he can help us. In our Bible story today, when Paul told other people about Jesus, some of them didn't care to listen, but some of them did. And I think that's really, really important. When you show love to other people, they care. People want to feel loved. So when you have an opportunity to say the right words, uh, talk the right way, or show kindness, you're showing God's love. And there will be people that ask questions and want to know more about God. And that's an opportunity for you to share. So take heart, always be kind, always have fun, and uh, remember God loves you so much, and he is so good to us. Have a great week, guys. I hope you have lots of fun. Bye-bye.